Hi, hello everyone. So I am here again to discuss all about the quarter one mathematics. Entitled Illustrates the Rectangular Coordinate System and its Uses. So what are the objectives on this lesson? First, we need to illustrate the rectangular coordinate system and its uses and identify the quadrant and plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Before we start our lesson discussion, so let us watch this movie clips first. Enjoy class! Maraming bakit! When you choose to love, tapat tapat. Kasi kung mahal mo, bakit mo sasaktan? Am I not enough? Pangit pa ako? Kapalit-palit pa ako? No! Then why? Bakit mo ako nagawag magkoy? So what is the title of this movie? Anyone? Any guess? Okay, so the title is My Ex and Y! So do you think what is the connection of this movie to our lesson? So first question, what are the letters commonly used in math? In terms of algebra, we always use two letters. What are those? Mm -hmm. So that is X and letter Y. So it, and that is the connection of that movie, My X and Y, to our lesson mathematics because of the two variables that we always use, the X and Y. Why? Okay. In terminology, we have x-axis. If we have x-axis, we also have the y-axis. If we have x-coordinate, of course, we also have the, of course, the y-coordinate. So, presenting our lesson for today, entitled, Illustrate the Rectangular Coordinate System and its uses. Let's begin. So what is coordinate plane? A coordinate plane is formed by two number lines in a plane that intersects at the right angles. The point of intersection is the zero on each number line. So let's see. So this horizontal line is called x-axis, while the vertical line it is called Y axis. And this red dot in the middle is called origin. So you think, who is this person that develops the Cartesian plane? Okay. He is Rene Descartes. One day, as Rene Descartes was gazing at the ceiling, he saw a fly moving on it. It made him wonder how to describe the position of that fly in an instant. Then finally, he came up with the idea of using two numbers in a coordinate system to describe the position of a point. Therefore, he develops using the Cartesian coordinate plane. From the word cart Descartes, okay, Descartes his surname. So, this Cartes, from the word Cartes, it becomes Cartesian play. Got it? Good! So, the two axes divide the coordinate plane into four quadrants. So, let's count. One, two, three, four. So, we have quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So, so the movement of that Cartesian plane into four quadrants is going counter clockwise. Remember, it is counter clockwise. Very good. So let's plot the points in the Cartesian plane. So five and six is an example of an ordered pair. Okay. So, 5 where is the co x coordinate, 6 is the y coordinate. So, 5. So, from the origin, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, going up 
part, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To get 5 and 6 as the ordered pair. Okay, X, Y, it is like entering in the hospital. Wherein X is in the door and Y, it is the elevator. Because door is side to side, Y is going up and down because of the elevator. We don't have any elevator that moves from side to side. Of course, it moves up or down. So let's try negative 3 and 4. Negative 3. It is to the left or to the right? Do you think? Negative. Of course, it moves to the left. So left, we have 1, 2, 3. Then, going up, 4. So, so we have negative 3 and 4. Question. So, let's identify the quadrants. Name the quadrants where each point is located. So, X. Where does X located? Mm -hmm. So, it is located in quadrant. Four. Very good. How about Y? Mm -hmm. Where's Y? Where's Y? Okay. So, Y is located here. Okay. So, where does Y located? It's located in quadrant. Three. Very good. How about S? Okay. This is the location of S. So, where does S located? It is quadrant. Two. Very good. Locating points on the coordinate plane. So let's give the coordinates of each point. So where does X located? Okay, so X located here. Okay, so from the origin, X is 4 units right and 1 unit down. So let's try for Y. So where does Y located? It is located here. Okay, so from the origin, Y is 2 units left and 3 units down, as you can see. So we have here a clue words, 2 units left and 3 units down. So left is negative and of course, down is also negative. Therefore, the answer will be negative 2 and negative 3. They are both negative. Got it? So we have here another example, S. Where S located? So look, S located here in quadrant 2. So from the origin, S is 3 units left and 3 units up. So what are the clue words? So the clue words here again is left and up. So of course, left will be negative up is positive therefore the answer is welcome to mobile Life. wow are you familiar with that till the enemy reaches the oh that sound smash them is that the song from you have slain mobile legends I think Double most kill. of you are all familiar with Mobile Legends. So that picture is called the Mobile Legend Battlefield. And this smaller picture on the left, it is called what? This one. It is called map, right? So in this map, we will relate this map on our lesson Cartesian plane. Let's see. Okay. From the map of the Mobile Legends, so that black dot is called the mid lane, right? Let's draw a Cartesian plane in this map. Wow, amazing! So in this map, so this red dot is called the origin or the mid lane on the Mobile Legends. Okay, so we also have x-axis and the y-axis. But in this vertical line, it's called y-axis. 
let's now play this game. So from the map, let's draw a Cartesian plane again. Then I will play, who is this? This is Hilda. Okay, we all know that Hilda is a tank. The right. real warrior is here! A good soldier needs both brain and gut. My weapon is your shield. Charge! Don't be a jelly! Show me your strength! And my opponent is Eudora. And Eudora is what? You should be ashamed for not trusting yourself. What limits you is not magic itself, but the way you use it. So I will go here and heal the go in the mid lane. Then Eudora went to this lane. So if I will in the middle and I will go to Eudora, what will be the distance of Hilda going to Eudora? Let's find out. Okay. Of course, we need to take the x-axis first. Okay. So, count to the left, right? So, going to the right, to the left, we should automatically write negative. Okay. So, one, two, three. So, we have negative three. Then, going upward, one. So, we will write here, one. Okay. So, this is X and this is Y. Take another example again. So, from the map, become a Cartesian plane. Then I will play again Hilda and my opponent is Eudora. So I will go here again in the origin or the mid lane. Then Eudora to find out the coordinates. So from here, the mid lane, then I will count 1, 2. So going to the right, it will become 2. Next, 1, 2 again. So, going down, it will become negative 2. So, the coordinates is positive 2 and negative 2. Again, you are here in the battlefield. And the same character, Hilda and Eudora. And Hilda, go in the origin again and again and again. Then, Eudora, go in this place. Okay, in the quadrant, 2. Then what will be the coordinates? Okay, let's find out the coordinates again. So, Hilda takes the x-axis. So, left or right? Hilda, left. Very good. So, automatically, we will write here negative. Then count one. Then one here. Then, upward or downward? Of course, upward. So, let's count going up. One, two, three, four. Positive or negative? Of course, positive. Very good. So, positive, four. So, our coordinates is negative one and positive four. Did you get it? Okay, very good. Any question, class, so far? Wow. I think it is easy, right? For the different terminologies in this lesson. First, abscissa. Abscissa is another form for x-axis. Coordinate, that is the term for y-axis. X-axis, the horizontal line in a Cartesian plane. 
y-axis, that is the vertical line in a Cartesian plane, quadrant, that it has four regions made due to x-axis and y-axis intersection. Coordinates, that is the value for x-axis and the y-axis. X-intercept, when the value of y is zero, of course, if we have x-intercept, we also have the y-intercept. And that is when the value of x is zero. And the last one is the origin. The Let's explore the different terminologies in this lesson. And that's all for today, class. I hope you learned a lot from this session. I believe in you. I know you can do it independently. With that, let's all say congratulations. See you next time. Bye-bye.